rugby is a sport on the rise. 2016 will see its return to the Olympics after 92 years. Its inclusion helped in no small part by its growing popularity in emerging nations like Sri Lanka. Originally played by British workers on tea plantations back in the 19th century, the locals soon took up the sport with the Sri Lankan Rugby Football Union formed in 1908. Today the country is the second largest Asian rugby nation in terms of registered players, second only to 2019 World Cup host Japan. The rugby has been played in Sri Lanka since the 1870s and the strong tradition of school sports in this country has allowed rugby to really thrive. These days the country regularly participates in the Asian Five Nations, the hope being that one day the national side will be good enough to qualify for the World Cup. <laughs> Leonard De Silva is a former Sri Lanka international. These days he shouts the orders as assistant coach of the Havelock Sports Club. It is growing very fast and it's very popular from the under 13 level in schools and it's building up to the under 19 and also the club rugby. It is growing fast. A quick look at the Havelock's clubhouse and there's ample evidence of Sri Lanka's rugby history. And it's this history that the man who runs the game here believes puts his country in the ideal position to kick on and become a genuine force in Asia, especially in the shorter format of the game. A country like Sri Lanka has a really good chance to perform on the world stage in this format because as you know there are only seven players on the field and it's more about pace and more about fitness and uh, uh, less about size and actual contact and we've uh, actually uh, uh, occasionally come up with uh, an upset in world rugby by beating teams like Kenya, um, China and uh, even running Wales and Scotland close, you know, so uh, I think that's the future. At the end of this month, the country will try and make it into the Asian Five Nations. But the big ambition is to qualify for the Sevens Tournament at the 2020 Olympics, where Sri Lanka's rugby players could finally make their mark on the world stage. Rahul Papak, Al Jazeera, Colombo.